Because I want to say without fear of contradiction that President Ruto is trying to kill multi-party. President Ruto is trying to kill multi-party. The way Kenyatta won and Moi killed multi-party is the same way that President Ruto is trying to kill multi-party. By buying members of parliament, by members of county assemblies, by governors to recruit them to do his work in UDA and in the Kenya uh, Kwanzaa government, I can tell you that that is a strategy for killing multi-party democracy in Kenya. If you look at the political parties' funds, which was going to political parties, major political parties like ODM, the fraction that ODM is getting compared to what ODM was getting under the Jubilee government and under the NAC government or under the Grand Coalition government, it is a clear signal that President Ruto would rather have a one-party state. And I was not surprised that he paid a, a visit to Zimbabwe. And in Zimbabwe, you know how that ZANU-PF, which Nyakamami and myself, we know a lot about ZANU-PF. The fact that he went to visit Zimbabwe as a guest of the president of Zimbabwe is a clear signal that what has happened in that country in killing multipartism can easily happen here in the Republic of Kenya. The other thing that is doing of killing our constitutional order is by delaying remittances to the counties. The counties are not getting their money in time like as we speak most counties have not received money for February, March, April, and when that money will come, it will be at the end of the financial year. That is how Kenyatta killed regionalism, Majim, by denying funds. So I agree with Honorable Ruto Dinga when she says that President Ruto is killing devolution. If money cannot go to the counties at the time when the money should come to the counties, it is a clear strategy for killing devolution. And devolution is also killing by usurping.